Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Shodwani once again from learn-animation.com. Today in this lecture, I will show you how you can download and configure VS Code in Windows. So we will be using VS Code for our JavaScript tutorials. So in case you already have, you can skip this tutorial. But in case if you don't have any other editor, please go ahead with VS Code. It's very easy to use and there's a lot of plugins available which will make your task very easy. So I will just go to Google and I will simply search download VS code for Windows or just type download VS code. You will be navigating to this website which is code.visualstudio.com. They have this Visual Studio for Windows, Mac, Linux. I'm using Windows 64 bit, Windows 10. So as you can see, we have these options, right? So I will click on 64 bit. I will click on the system installer and it will download a small exe file. Now just double click on this installer and it will simply start installing in your local system. Now you can see this agreement page. So click on I accept the agreement, click on next. And this is the location where it is getting installed. Do not change this. In case if you want to change, you can do that. And you can see it requires minimum close to 300 MB of disk space. So make sure you have that space click on next and click on next and just click on next install so it will take few minutes and visual code will be ready you can start using it whether you want to go with python java c++ node.js so once it is done you can see we have a checkbox launch visual studio code click on finish and it will start this visual studio okay so you will getting something like this where you can click on select language to get started so if you want, just click here and you can get started with a specific programming language. I will click on cancel this. So now you can see we have something called Explorer. Then we have something called search. Then we have source control. And here you can see we can do the debugging as well and we can execute from here. Most important part, you can see we have a lot of extensions here. And this is one additional thing which I have installed. Okay. And if you come down here, this is your settings. The moment you click on manage, you can see we have multiple settings here. If you click on settings, you'll get a setting page where you can do a lot of other settings. So once we move ahead, we might jump into the settings. We might do some small changes here as of now, not required. So you can click on this setting, uh, you know, close the settings. Apart from that, there you can see we have a section terminal run option, go view selection, edit and file. We might use a couple of them in the upcoming lectures. Okay. So the first thing that you need to do, click on the Explorer. And you can see we have two options. One is your open editor. Second is no folder open. So basically you need one folder, okay, where you can do all this operation. So in our previous lecture, we have created one folder, right? So I'm just going to select the same folder. In case you're starting from this video, just create a folder, blank folder, and you can open that folder here. So I will click on this open folder and I will be using the same folder that we have used in the last session. So I will go to my desktop and we have created one folder called JavaScript example, right? Let's click on the select folder and that folder will be opened here. Okay. You will be getting this option now. Do you want to trust the author of the files in this folder? Say yes. So click on this and click on yes. I trust the author. So this is the file guys that we created yesterday. Okay. Where we have just written a small console.log, which was simply printing some hello world. Now let me create a new file so that you will get one clear idea. I will just type this as my first JS code dot JS. Okay. Extension should be dot JS. And you can see we have a new file. You can see this extension, right? JS means JavaScript. Now you can just type console and now you can see you will be getting auto suggestion, right? The moment is a dot. Now you will be getting a lot of suggestions again. So you can see we have log, error, warn, info, assert, clear, count, so many other things. As of now, let me just try again log. And inside the log, let me just print 12. Okay. And let me also print something in string form. So I will say log and let me just type Mukesh here. So I'm just giving one number and I'm giving one string. Now, how do we run it? Very straightforward. Click on this terminal and click on this new terminal. So right now it is available inside my directory, right? Which is JavaScript example. Now just type node 
and give the file name. Our file name is my first js code.js and you can see it is giving 12 and it is giving Mukesh. Fine. Now you will also see just uh, just like log we have some additional methods as well as you can see we have error we have one right so even if I use error now if you just see that uh, something went wrong just a second something went wrong you will not see any major difference in the console but when you do the same thing in browser you will see a different behavior okay that I will show you now so I hope it is clear that first of all we have created a JavaScript file here with .js extension now you can write the complete code and in order to run just type node and give that file name now let me show you these two additional thing in the browser okay suppose I want to execute the same JavaScript code in the browser you will see a major difference just click on this console and just type console console.log and just type hello okay you will get hello as usual but the moment I say console dot error okay and this time I will say hello can you see something now it is coming in error format so basically we have log info error fatal warning right so if I just type console again and if I show you warning so just type warn and again type hello okay so actually we just need to write the double quotes can you see this warning so this is warning this is error this is just a log message so you might not see major changes here but when it comes to rendering the same thing in the browser this will change its behavior so once we move ahead we will discuss a couple of things okay this is just a beginning where we are just running our first javascript code on visual code and i hope you are able to do that now if you don't want to write every time console.log just type log and it will give you this option right log on the console the moment you select this automatically it will write console.log in a similar way if you just type error log error to console and it will automatically give you these options so we will be exploring a couple of this autocomplete features as well and it's very handy it will save a lot of time plus it will make you a little more productive so please try from your end i'm using windows but yes you can try with linux and mac in case if you face any issue let me know in the comment section and in case if you're new to this channel please subscribe this channel share with your colleagues and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye